team of ornithologists have been on Puffin Island for a couple of weeks now, doing a survey of the birds which nest and breed there. Luckily enough, it was low water this time and calm as well. Des Lavelle, our boatman, told us that it's a very tricky landing in rough weather. See you later. Yes. Of course, it's only about 200 feet straight up. You'd need to be very fit for this ornithology lark. Oh, well, I suppose it's the sort of gallantry you'd expect from bird watchers. Was there a little there? There's a little there. There's a little there. Would you believe it? That was the easy bit. There was even worse to come. <laughs> the expedition base camp on Puffin Island. Hugh, you're the leader of the expedition here. What mm. on earth are you all doing? <laughs> um, well, we're here really to find out all about the birds of the island, to do a general survey. Um, because it's some years since any work's been done in any of the Kerry, on any of the Kerry Islands. Um, really, ver any, nobody has very much idea what there is, how many that there are of each species. Um, so, the fir first purpose of the expedition, I suppose, is just to come and have a look around, see what there is, um, and then to set up um, a number of to set up uh, systems so that we can monitor any future changes in populations of the birds. Is this um, what you're doing when um, you're marking out the little squares uh, inside right, wood and putting threads from one side to the other of it? What, what's that all about? Yes, um, that's for counting the puffins. Uh, it's rather difficult to count the actual birds. It doesn't tell you very much for a start because numbers fluctuate a lot from one day to the next and from one hour to the next. You don't learn a lot just by counting the birds. So we try and count the burrows uh, because they nest in the burrows. But um, count all the burrows in the island would be just too much of a job so we take a sample area and count the burrows in that sample and then we'll come back next year and the year after and count the burrows in the sample again and see whether the number has gone up or down. Can't reach in, it's going way back. Right, we'll try this one. It looks pretty good. Deep. There's nothing there so far. We can try a wire and see if we contact anything. No, it's too far back. Maybe a bird there, but if there is, do I have to stay there? Looks good though. Oh, something. I've got it. Got it. There you are. Oh, you've got one, Hugh. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Look at the yellow yeah. around its mouth and everything. Yeah, adult puffin. Well, why, what's the purpose of the coloured beef? Well, it's decoration for breeding season. Um, Is that male or part. female? Both, both sexes, both the same. Um, in the summer they have this bright coloured beak in the breeding season, and in the winter they lose it a bit. eye makeup or something. Yeah. Right, what would happen now if I touch it? Would bite. you mind? Oh, I better not. So that's why you so, got all the scratches on yep. your hand. Can it see me coming around the back now? Yes, okay. it can. Its eyes go right all the way around. Well, now why is that puffin in there in its burrow during the day? Well, it'll probably have a chick in there. I couldn't, I couldn't reach the chick, but um, probably is one in there. They only have one at a time. Yeah, don't one they? at a time. 
Um, so it'll be looking in there, looking after the chick, and its mate will be out there fishing, ready to come in with, to come in with fish later on. Well, it certainly doesn't seem to be uh, much the worse for wear. What do we do now? Put it back well, in? Well, I think put it, it back in the burrow, yeah. Yes. Let it get back, uh, back to business. Probably needs to recover. <laughs> <laughs> they look so cuddly, yeah. you know, but they're not at all. And what about um, all the other things you're doing, like, for instance, netting the puffins and the razor bills? What's the purpose of that? Is that not cruel? Um, no, they don't mind a bit, I don't think. Well, obviously, they, they don't actually like it. It's a bit of a surprise, but, Yes, yeah. but uh, they recover very quickly. You know, they're straight off to sea again and forget about it instantly. Um, we put a numbered ring on the bird's leg, and then whenever, wherever, whenever the bird gets picked up again, uh, it will know where it's gone to, where it came from and the map of the movements of the birds we built up. And why is that important? Well, it's important with seabirds because they are very vulnerable to um, oil pollution and so on, and a lot of them do get killed. And it's important to know where the birds come from, so you can tell which colonies are being affected, which colonies would be affected in the event of a big spell, spill somewhere. Thank you.